All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have something exciting. We have the Black Mamba from Stang Mode. That is his personal car, and we're gonna do a long tube header install. Now, we've all seen header installs on YouTube before, but this is going to be a little bit different, okay? We have a lift this time. I've done this like four, four or five times on jack stands, and I'm very familiar with how to do this. There's not really any tricks when you're doing a header install. Plan for an entire day's worth of work, but, we have a couple of tricks up our sleeve today, which should speed the process, so definitely keep watching. All right, big, big shout out to Texas Pete for making this all happen as we get set up here for staying mode. And uh, we're gonna probably, uh, what do you think, about 500 horsepower? Five, uh, 500 wheel horsepower is the plan. Uh, and then hopefully 10 seconds NA in the quarter. That's what the plan is. So. I think, it, especially with the drag pack now. Yes, this kit is available, link in the description. Uh, Xander was the first one to put it on, his 18, so that's where he flew him out here, he knows what he's doing. For the install were Boosted Addictions, and uh, he's doing some push-ups in the corner. So you can't see, <laughs> you can't see him right now. But uh, we're gonna have her up there, and I got, uh, that's why I love the Mustang community, because we're all hanging out. Uh, Zan flew Xander out from Tennessee, and we're gonna have some fun. So. Yes, absolutely. So. Big shout out to Texas Speed, and thank you, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So, break here. This is a long tube header from Texas Speed. So you do have the Texas right there cut out, and I honestly really do support these guys 110. Um, percent A lot of you will spend thousands of dollars on a long tube setup. I mean, the expensive side, they're like 1600 bucks or more, maybe a little bit less. There's different brands you can go with, but Texas Speed, you know, to get these for that $700 price range, seven to 800 bucks. I mean, look at these welds. Let's see if I can actually get in there. Yeah. So you can kind of see inside. They are flawless, machined very well. There's nothing crazy going on. I've run these in the past. They're perfect. You know, the O2, uh, area here is where they need to be especially running like e85 um they fit perfectly in the car and then i mean just beautiful 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 so this is a one and seventh eighth header and this is a catalyst system again um pretty lightweight and uh yeah stop looking around at all these other crazy shops when you're looking for headers go to texasspeed.com and buy these you're gonna need these two. So I've touched on this in my videos, but your O2 extensions, uh, your rears, or no, I'm sorry, your fronts are flat like this. So they used to be round, but you're going to need these flat style plugs. So they can provide those as well. All right, so once we're under the car, he's already WD-40 everything. So 15 millimeter bolts there and there, and then all along here pretty much, you're gonna have 13, 14, and 15, 15 millimeter bolts and then your starter is going to be 10 mil and then that's pretty much it so you don't need an abundance of tools to do this you just really need some time so we'll go ahead and jump to it Come on, oh. all right so we got boosted addictions in the back he's going to, we're going to drop this whole cat back here so just simplify things a little bit There it goes. It's way easier to go up from the top. What, for some extensions? Yep, with about 30 inches of extension. So if you're going to do this, right, so these, uh, gonna have to guide. this top uh, for your catalytic converter. So easy, the bottom on the passenger side is easy to get to, but you got to go, the easiest way to is go through the driver's up in the engine bay to get that top bolt on top. There's just no room to do it from underneath. So we are light on extension, so we're gonna to attempt to get this from the bottom. Just a little bit more work, but you can probably still get it done. While he's doing that, I'm gonna move on over to the steering shaft right here. It's gonna be a T40 Torx bit. But what you wanna do first is take a Sharpie. And you go from like your lines right here Make some marks right there so you know where to put it back. Yep. All right, look 
the man. Boosted addiction is doing work. He got that thing out. He got From the bottom. From the bottom. From the bottom. I was climbing up. Yeah. It's like a big boy's jungle gym under here. First. Yep. <laughs> so now I'm going to get Listen, started. Listen, hold on. on. He's getting a little sweaty. I think it's time for the shirt to get off. <laughs> All right. Starter is going to be 10 millimeter pretty much. And you have the big ones. Uh, which I think are 13 and then you have like four back here. I'll see if I can get a good camera angle, but uh, Anyway All right guys here is a starter so different than a manual so you have less screws You have two 13 millimeter So right there and then there you attack it from the back side as it's attached to the car and it comes out On the front you have a 10 millimeter and then you have a 13 here and it just comes out It's so much easier than a manual car. Love it. So yeah, I'm totally gonna say that. So, so if you own a manual transmission car, your work is harder. It's easier. It's easier just to get the 10 speed. <laughs> Buy the 10 speed. I love it. Again, look, look at your arms. I've been playing with cars too much lately. <laughs> this is my thumbnail right here. I haven't had yeah, right? <laughs> we gotta do the new thing. We gotta get the sex appeal back. Yeah, here. yeah. We'll pull out the, uh, we'll do a gun show. So yeah, we're gonna let muscles do all the work and I'm just gonna film. <laughs> so these guys are over there working and not everybody has access to a shop like this, okay? Very professional setup, but on jack stands in your backyard with the right tools and if you're moving, you can do this job in eight hours or less if you're really hustling. But honestly, you should shoot for probably about 12 hours, but uh, over here behind me, this is Boosted Addictions Twin Turbo 18. He's waiting on E85 and a return fuel system. And you're gonna see a lot more footage of this on his channel soon, so definitely go subscribe to him. He's over there working hard. So I need to go back over there and help him instead of being lazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna narrate a little bit. They're working on the, uh, the mounts themselves that hold the block up for off of the motor mounts. And they're tricky. Uh, they are tricky. So not a whole lot of room for three people at the time. So I'm just gonna film and Make fun of them when they mess up, and I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. This is rare. Got Stang mode working on his own car. Yep. This is a this is a once in a lifetime shot. So this pop on it. I'm glad we're not in the driveway. Yeah. That's gonna be a a mother for back owner. Oh God. Old school throwback he's got on. What? Eco boots. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's, That's his right. first name. Throwback. That's his real name. Don't never forget the roots. We have our guard dog here taking care of the uh, the stocks. So he's guarding the cats. Yeah, he's guarding the cats. Big old cat, fat cat. Yep. And then we got the new. We got the lions out there. <laughs> I'm ready to go in. I gotta say, yo, whose addictions is killing me? Yeah, he is. <laughs> just, he is. He just kind of took over and it's like, you know, I got this guy. So we just became the vloggers. I thought that I was gonna be doing like, <laughs> yeah. he was gonna be here for moral support. Yeah, it, we, we ended up being moral supporters. I got replaced like an hour in. I'm just kind of here. So. Dan is taking a flight home tonight. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's smile. I can't wait. You let me know when you go. Because yeah. I want to be there. What do you mean go when? Go You're going to send it to the ACO or are you just going to send it to the general? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I'm sending it. I love it. You're like, what do you mean where I go? I mean, when I, when I pull out of here, it's the. <laughs> <laughs> send it up the street. All right, cool. All right, so rundown of pretty much what you guys need to do. Again, it's all 13, uh, 14, and 15 millimeter bolts, and then 10 millimeter as well, and then a like a one fourth bit. We'll take out the head stud bolts. Um, you do need to pull all those things out. 12 or what now? 12, 12 point, point. Yeah, like a little star. So you need all of that. Lots of extensions, and then opening ratchets, uh, shallow and deep sockets, all of that. But essentially what you want to do, 
and I'm going to narrate this as we go. Um, apologize for not filming every single specific thing, but it is a lot of work. And I've never filmed a header install, so this is really the first one. So if you guys are interested, again, Texas Speed is the way to go. But motor mounts, you're going to take those loose. Those are 15 millimeter. Um, then you are going to move the AC line out of the way as much as possible. And this is after the fact that you take your, your strut brace off of the car, take the negative battery cable loose, all of that stuff. So you basically work yourself from the top down. And then once you get underneath the car, uh, you're going to make sure that your catback is off or loose. And then Xander came through in the clutch, y'all. Oh my gosh. How's it feel? Oh, that was work, man. Thank you. That was that, that was worth him flying out here, right? Just for that moment. That moment. That one moment. Look at this. Get this. This little B A S T A R D. <laughs> Don't want to get demonetized. So again, once you get underneath the car here, you got all where your head studs would be. So you're gonna take all these guys out. You know, you can leave a couple, like the first top one. We chose to remove all of them. It's just a little bit easier. And as you can see, we still have the motor mount itself still installed you don't need to actually pull that but you do need to raise and lower the engine with a jack you can do that but once you do all of that once you raise and lower that then just just play and, and pull this thing out and then you'll have to go up to the top to get some of the, the head studs on the top it, it's a pain in the butt and then you'll do basically the same thing over here once you undo the steering shaft as you can see we pretty much removed it just to give us room we haven't pulled that motor mount yet or the uh, the bracket that's holding it uh, we're going to see if we can not have to do that, but we, we shall see. It may just go in there and fit, but short and sweet, that's pretty much how you do it. So as you can see here, it's pretty much all undone. You do have to take the intake off as well, and then this is pretty much what you got to work with. So not a whole lot of room there, and you can see that AC bracket right there. So you just got to work around that piece. See with the, uh, the green top. And then you have, and then you have this guy here. So you just got to move this around, and then you know lift or, or lower it whichever way, right? But yeah, it's it's a lot of work to actually do this correctly. But you know, with some friends, you can you can definitely get this done in you know six to eight hours. But it's passenger yeah. side. Yeah, passenger side is jack the motor. Yeah. A lot, a lot of like annoying. passenger side is definitely the hardest part um, the driver's side is a cakewalk pretty much if you've never done a header install it's it's not overly difficult if you're in the air like we are it's probably about a five out of ten and on the ground it's about a seven or eight out of ten so being in the air definitely helps out for sure amazingly we have the header on right yes it's in it's in it now we're just going to tighten it down and this is probably a lot this is very uh it's a tough one you right there? Okay. Working hard. Yeah. He flew, here, he flew over here and right to work. <laughs> no, no time for play. <laughs> yeah. Usually they're, they're expensive. Look at this in here. This is cool. Yeah, so this is actually an important piece of the header. So right there, you want to pay attention to all these welds and uh, they are all good to go. Some of the cheaper headers that you can run into won't, they won't be as clean as this. So that's, this is airflow. This is where it all collects right in there. So when it's, when you have nice wells like this, you have a smoother collection of air getting, you know, going into this one single pipe here. So very, very important. All right, guys, we are getting the first one in. This is how she looks. It's all tight fit. So we just got to get those other head studs in there like that. And uh, what just happened to my phone? There we go. Um, but yeah, so again, passenger side is a nightmare. Driver's side uh, should be a lot easier. And there's not a lot of room to work with on the top, on the passenger side, but you go to the driver's side, you can actually see all the way to the ceiling there. So there's plenty of room. All right guys, so we're making some progress here and it is late at night, but we have the guys underneath the car and it's looking good. We almost have the driver, I'm sorry, yeah, the driver's, yeah, passenger side complete. <laughs> so we almost have the driver's side complete. Passenger look at this side. thing. Driver's passenger side. Passenger. Hey, look, this is, this is yeah, Tunnel like Chaser video. right here. In the video. Huh? Like yeah, 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 Tunnel Chaser. So he has a big YouTube channel. He's a big YouTuber. So if you're not following him, definitely go do so because he has a Dodge Demon and he goes out there and wrecks souls. 
kind of like uh. Yeah, kind of like demonology. Any uh, Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> Mustang. Oh. Downpipe. Oh, fell right on my face. How many YouTubers does it take to put on headers? Uh, we have few. We have four. We of probably here. need about two, three more. Yeah, yeah. Couple of hiccups, no big deal. <laughs> but <laughs> they do look really, really. No good. big deal. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Eight hours. Look at, hours look at these. This trash right here on the floor. 18 hours. What time So this video started to be like super professional and I apologize, but uh, yeah, stuff doesn't happen. Things doesn't go your way, so we just kind of winged it. And uh, here we are. You wanted to be the, the, the best CJ Pony part. I know, I know. And we'll, we'll do it again and it'll be super professional. So we'll just, we'll just continue on. All right, guys, we're about done. It's, uh, what time is it? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. So a couple of hiccups. And uh, we were able to sort through them. Uh, so we have some collective minds. We got myself, Boost Addictions, and Stang Mode. And uh, able to figure stuff out. So, but it is late and we've been at it for about 12 hours. But moments to go until this thing comes to life. Comes to life. All right, we are all done finally. And he is loading the E85 tune, the new tune. For this badass animal. Fire away. <laughs> <laughs>